Hello all, uh, welcome to the uh, new topic Integral Equations. In this lecture we will discuss the uh, classification of linear integral equations. An integral equation uh, is an equation in which a, a function to be determined appears under an integral sign. An equation is said to be an integral equation uh, in which the unknown function comes under an integral sign. Then that equation is the integral equation. In this chapter, we will discuss only uh, the linear uh, integral equations. That is uh, the unknown functions. No nonlinear uh, functions of the unknown function are in, involved. Okay. So, uh, mainly the linear integral equations uh, is classified into two. Uh, mainly they are of mainly they are of two types or two classifications are there first one it is a Fredholm integral equation Fredholm integral equation and Volterra type integral equation and Volterra Volterra type integral equation. So, first we will discuss the uh, Fredholm integral equation. Fredholm integral equation. The Fredholm integral equation is an equation of the form. An equation of the form alpha x uh, into y of x is equal to f of x plus lambda integral a to b k of x theta y theta d theta. Here uh, you can see that the function to be determined is y of x and it is also in the right side in the under the integral signs the function is also there. The unknown function comes under the integral sign. So, this is a Fredholm integral equation. In the Fredholm integral equation, the one more thing uh, we have to notice is that the uh, limit of the integrals uh, should be uh, fixed integers, fixed numbers. That means a and beta. The lower limit and upper limit of the integrals are constants. Okay. Uh, so, here um, the functions alpha capital F and K. K is a function of X and theta. Uh, alpha is a function of X. F is a function of X. So all these functions are uh, given functions and uh, lambda A and B are constants and Y of X is the function to be determined. The given function k of x theta, you can see that it is a function of two variables x and theta. Here we consider x as the uh, current variable and theta is the auxiliary variable. And this function k of the given function k of x theta is known as uh, the kernel of the integral equation. It's known as the kernel. So, uh, the general form of a Fredholm integral equation is alpha x into y of x uh, is equal to f of x plus lambda integral a to b k of x theta y of theta d theta where k of x theta is a function of x and theta function in x and theta x is the current variable theta is the uh, auxiliary variable alpha f k are given functions. Okay. The second one is Volterra integral equation. Uh, if the in the integral equation, the upper limit of the integral is uh, not a constant, but it is identified instead with the current variable, then that equation is called a uh, Volterra integral equation. That is uh, an equation of the form. That is uh, the equation takes the form. takes the form alpha x into y of x is equal to uh, f of x plus integral instead of a to b we are considering the integral as integral a to x sorry lambda into f of x plus lambda into integral a to x k of x theta uh, y of theta d theta.
y of theta d theta. So this is the general form of a uh, Volterra type integral equation, linear uh, integral equation. Now uh, uh, we can you can see that in the in the two equations that is in the Fredholm and integral equation in Fredholm and Volterra type integral equations lambda can be incorporated with k of x theta but uh, in many problems uh, we are treating lambda as a parameter which takes uh, different values or various values in particular um, cases. Okay, uh, so. Um, uh, now we can discuss some more uh, kinds of this uh, equations. Um, so when alpha not equal to alpha a function alpha not identically equal to zero, not equal to zero, then the above equations um, uh, the above, then the equations involve the two equations Volterra and uh, Fredholm integral equations uh, involve unknown function in uh, both sides. Involve uh, that is when alpha is not identically zero, uh, the equations involve uh, both the equations that is the Fredholm integral equation and Volterra type integral equation uh, involve the unknown function uh, both inside and outside the integral. Now we can discuss about some special cases. Uh, when alpha become identically zero, when alpha is identically zero, then uh, in the both the equations, the left hand side becomes zero, and uh, the equation, the unknown function comes only under the integral sign. There is no um, that means the unknown function comes only at the integral sign, and the left side will become zero if alpha x is identically equal to zero. Then such type of integral equations, whether it is um, Fredholm or Volterra type in any type integral equation it is said to be of first kind it is known as a first kind integral equation or integral equation of first kind if alpha identically equals zero now if alpha equal to identically equal to one then the equation is said to be of second kind second kind uh, integral equation whether it is Fredholm it is known as Fredholm integral equation of second kind and if it is uh, a Volterra type integral equation in which alpha equal to 1, then it is known as uh, integral equation, uh, Volterra integral equation of second kind. Now, if alpha is not a constant but is prescribed as a function of x, then that equation is sometimes known as integral equation of third kind. So we have discussed uh, integral equations, uh, mainly the linear uh, integral equations. There are two classifications, Fredholm and uh, Volterra type integral equation. The only change is that in the Volterra type integral equation, uh, the upper limit of the integral, uh, upper limit of the integral is uh, not the constant but a uh, current variable. And we have discussed three special cases that is integral equations of first kind, second kind and uh, third kind. Uh, so in the third kind the alpha is not a constant but is a function of x. Also uh, we, can, uh, we can see that the equation of third kind can be converted into uh, an integral equation of the second kind by redefining the uh, either the unknown function or the kernel or both. So we can rewrite this uh, into a, um, integral equation of second kind. Third kind can be converted. Let's check one uh, method. Mm, so if alpha x is a positive function, uh, we can see um, if... Um, so in particular, if the function alpha of x, if the function alpha of x is a positive is positive throughout the interval, this is possible in both the uh, integral equations, both the type that is Volterra and Fredholm. So we, in in particular, we can discuss about the uh, Volterra type, sorry, Fredholm integral equation. So if the function alpha of x is positive uh, throughout the interval, uh, 
throughout the interval a interval a b uh, then then the uh, fredholm integral equation can be re rewritten as then the uh, fredholm integral equation let it be equation number 1 fredholm it is let this be equation number 1 so we can rewrite equation fredholm equation is alpha x into y of x is equal to capital f of x plus lambda uh, integral a to b k of x theta y theta d theta so we are uh, in which we know uh, alpha f x is positive throughout this interval interval a b so we can rewrite that equation 1 as then the equation 1 can be rewritten as written as alpha x since alpha x is positive root alpha of x is defined so root alpha x into y of x is equal to we have the freedom equation is alpha x into y of x is equal to um, fx plus lambda integral a to b k of x theta uh, y theta d theta like this so instead of alpha x i am writing it is root alpha x into root alpha x we can write this since alpha of x is a positive function and i am remaining one uh, factor here and taking the second factor into the uh, right side so uh, this equation will become root of alpha of x into y of x is equal to in the right side there is f of x so f of x divided by root of alpha x plus um, lambda integral a to b uh, k of x theta so it is not possible to write here so i am writing in the next step so la plus lambda integral a to b k of x theta now we know that uh, there is one alpha root alpha x is remaining so root alpha of x and um, since this is a function of x and theta i am writing this as root of alpha of theta into again here i am writing in order to cancel this root of alpha theta and uh, y theta this is for um, compensating this function the unknown function is the I am taking the new unknown function as root alpha x into y x so uh, this can be written as root of alpha theta y theta then d theta now look at this equation this equation number three so here uh, we can consider instead of considering y of x as the um, unknown function we can take the new unknown function as uh, root alpha x into y of x so uh, this is an equation um, Fredholm equation of uh, we can consider it as a second kind that is in which uh, the unknown alpha x becomes uh, 1 isn't it so our new unknown function is this one root alpha x into y of x is equal to f of x uh, by root of alpha x plus lambda integral a to b k of x theta by uh, root of alpha x alpha theta and the unknown function um, root alpha theta y theta d theta so um, we can see that the new kernel is k of not the k of x theta new kernel is k of x theta by root of alpha x alpha theta and new f is f of x f by root of alpha x new unknown function is root alpha x into uh, y x so in this way we can um, convert an integral equation of third kind into an integral equation of second kind so our new function the new unknown function we can take it as let it be y, let uh, y dash is equal to root alpha x into y of x and f dash is equal to f of x by root alpha x and k dash of x theta we can write it as k of x theta by root of alpha x into alpha theta then the equation can be written as then the equation 3 can be written as y dash of x is equal to uh, f dash x 
plus lambda integral a to b k dash of x theta y dash of theta d theta and look at this equation here the function which is uh, multiplied with the uh, function unknown function is 1 so this is an integral equation of second kind in this way we can convert any uh, integral equation of second kind into sorry third kind into second kind uh, in some problems uh, the kernel may be uh, symmetric the next note is uh, in some problems the kernel um, some equations kernel the given kernel may be symmetric that is x theta is equal to k of x theta is equal to k of theta x that means the kernel the function is uh, independent of the change of uh, variables or we can interchange the variables theta and uh, eta uh, for example say for if we uh, ask about a simple example if k of x theta is equal to the product x theta then we can write k of theta x is also as theta x which is same as x theta so uh, theta x is same as uh, k of x theta so uh, this type of kernels um, are said to be symmetric kernels and one more thing the usually the functions the given functions alpha f and k are assumed to be continuous in the uh, interval that is if it is freedom it is continuous in open interval a b and uh, it is to be required that the uh, solution the unknown function means the solution of the integral equation means we have to find the y of x the solution the solution is also required to be continuous in that interval so uh, up to this we have considered only one dimensional equations that means equations involving only one current uh, variable that means the unknown function depends only on the um, one uh, current variable if uh, there are two current variables or if the unknown function uh, instead of y if we take w if w depends upon two current variables x and y uh, the corresponding two dimensional the freedom integral equation will be is of the form alpha of xy into w of xy is equal to f of x comma y plus lambda then the integral single integral becomes a double integral because there are two unknown functions uh, sorry function is in uh, two uh, unknown var two variables uh, current variables x and y so there to be to be integrated twice uh, integral double integral k of x y theta eta w of theta eta d theta d eta so this is the uh, Fredholm integral equation, two-dimensional two Fredholm integral equation. Uh, <clears throat> so we have discussed about the uh, classification of linear integral equations, mainly of two types, Fredholm and uh, Volterra type integral equation. The only difference in both of them is uh, that in the uh, integral Volterra type integral equation, the upper limit of the integral is the current variable okay and uh, we have talked about the uh, different kinds that means three kinds of integral equation if the function alpha of x is zero that means unknown function on comes only under the integral sign then that type of integral equation is said to be of first kind and in second kind alpha of x is assumed to be a constant or a trivial it is one and uh, if the unknown function if y alpha of x is not a constant but a function of x only x alone uh, prescribed function of x then that type of equation is said to be um, equation of third kind in sometimes in many cases we can change the second third kind equation into uh, second kind and we have uh, last we have finally uh, we have discussed about the two dimensional uh, integral equations the general form of two dimensional uh, integral equation so let's stop here thank you thank you all